Hey there everybody, so I'm doing a random video today where I'm going to be talking about the e, the Drakthir Evoker, the new class slash race in WoW Dragonflight that is currently available um, through for the pre-patch if you have pre-ordered it or will be available if you when you buy the expansion and it comes out then. Now, the reason I'm doing a little bit of a video talking about this is because there's like a strong chance that this will be my main going in uh, Dragonflight. Um, now I want to make it clear that uh, I'm a, like 95% casual player, um, so I won't be really going into details about battlegrounds, raids, mythics, or anything like that. Um, you will probably find so many better people to explain those things than I will. Uh, this is just for the casuals, um, anybody who's interested in looking at Drak here. Uh, this will just be a super brief look at them and not really um, super in depth as um, I'm going back and forth my words. But you, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that'll mostly be what I'm talking about today. So uh, if you're here for to tune in for that, thank you. Uh, if you want the more in detail stuff, um, you're more than happy to look for other people out there. Fortunately, I can't really think of a recommendation except for maybe looking at Wowhead's website. Um, but otherwise, yeah, uh, here will be my quick breather. All right, so this is a good look at my evoker. Um, I already went through the uh, director starting experience, so this is just a uh, little through my um, my visage form, my human form. Um, I took him through the Venthyr campaign because uh, I felt like I really like this um, bit form. Otherwise, and over here is my main form. Uh, the only quick thing about the director uh, usually is that um, a lot of the um, they have like a a, a what call it? pants option, yeah, pants option, and the arm. Uh, when you're customizing them and like uh this specific kind of like belt with the the, sh the cloth like thing it clips through it very easily because um they have the cloth thing of their own it clips through the cloth thing of their own because they have one as well so it's kind of the worst sucky part we're trying to get this stuff together and also like limited color options for that but that's mostly the um the main customization part for it uh you can easily see through that of course from anywhere so um for me specifically, I'm going to be playing through Preservation because uh, my main is usually a Restoration Druid and I wanted to give Preservation a try and um, I will say that this talent build right now, this is the starter build you can see here that um, that WoW has with this thing. So um, if you do want to look into a Drag Theory, definitely look through a lot of these things. A lot of them do sound really interesting like um, Temporal Anomaly for Preservation looks like it would be really helpful and then... Um, if you're if you have like a lot of like stuns for your thing or like orders could probably even be good for um pvp to be honest but decrease the duration for impressing roar but that's that thing so i'm going to do just a quick showdown of um the the healing aspect of it so first things first is uh one of the main spells is uh well, i don't know about main is a uh, living well this one definitely living flame. so living flame of course is a thing you can use to heal an ally it can also heal yourself but it can also do damage for so um, if your if your team is healed and you need a you know maybe cast in something or just help out that works. Um, Spirit Emerald Blossom is a I like this one a lot honestly. So this uses your essence, which you can see here. Um, essence is kind of like your similar to um, energy points for rogue or stuff like that, except um, they come back over time. So like even if I use um, disintegrate over here, they'll use three, and this one automatically is recharging without having to like build it up or anything so yeah spirit blossom you click it on a target it will that's a pvp target you click it on a target and then it launches like um the efflorescence thing like the mushroom as i call it if you're a Dru if you're a resto druid you know what i'm talking about there um echo i really like a lot so echo works um it basically like casts the heal for using this one so let's take this guy for example here cast echo on him he will have the echo for there and <clears throat> And then the next healing spell I do on this one, it'll cast it again. So like, let's take Reversion. And now they have two Reversions. Reversion is a fun spell because if it critically heals, as you can see here, it increases, it it, it uh, continues to go again. So um, what does it says here? Its duration is extended by 1.7 seconds. So you can see this one lasted longer than the other one because it managed to critically heal. Uh, vibrant, what is this? Oh, Bird, <laughs> I can't read. Uh, you fly to an ally and heal them. It's all pretty decent. Pretty simple. Um, this one, Dream Flight, which is a nice one. So um, if you remember, if you know um, Deep Breath from doing the zone, you can tell that this one is basically the, the healing version of it. 
So deep breath works like the fire thing. Also, this is, I believe, a talent for that you can um, travel back to it. That one does damage. There's also the thing to let us stun. Um, Dream Flight is the heal one, so you do this, and then you're just healing back. Again. And same thing, you can just click this to go back. Really neat. This one is probably going to be my favorite one. So um, the thing with Direct here is, let me make sure the is still going. Cool. All right, so Dream Breath, I feel like is going to be my favorite one. So Dream is a is a very large um, cone to heal someone, and like I said with the Dracthiers, they have a th uh, thing where you you press depending on what you're using. You can either tap it and then tap it again to uh, release it, or you hold the button and then you let go. So this one I'm going to be doing the, the the hold version. So Dream Breath basically works like this: you just launch an area, hold it to whatever, let go, and then it heals anything in that cone. Now, compared to being a Resto Druid, while well, Resto Druid is a lot of course, like, um, point, uh, target, heal with, um, I'll, I'll do a, I'll put a video of this after this, I'll explain this to them. But one thing with, um, the Evoker, the Preservation Evoker I like is, um, well, it's mostly these abilities right here. That I can cast, like, this on to someone over there and then heal, like, another member of the team on here while that's getting healed as well. A lot of AoE healing, now that I'm saying it. Um, what else is there that I'm messing it up? Thank you for overseeing me. <laughs> um, Spirit Bloom is really is an interesting one. So um, I'm trying to remember what's it similar to, but basically it jumps on to, to um, different characters. So like, let's say I'm here. Um, it's also another charge one. When you see the rankings on the side here, that's uh, that means how long you have to hold it for. So we hold it over to three. So you can jump from to. Am I targeting? Some? No, jump from me to one to um, I think this one and then this one or this one to that one. One of these two. I'm trying to remember what spell I'm thinking of, but I can't think of it, honestly. Uh, these two are ratios. This is the um, my main talent for the main side. So basically, if I do this, what is this one? Here's an updraft. I don't even know how this. I'm, I might change that because I'm not too sure how to use that one. Or at least a good point for it. Um, but where's that one? Hover is a really fun one because you can do this, and then you can. Um, oh wait, oh, it's not working. A lot of local to cast it. Not too fast, but yeah, what? Hmm. I might have done this wrong. Launch yourself in the game. to cast spells, but I mean, can I not cast this one? It wasn't on cooldown. I don't know. But basically, that's that part. So uh, I want to go show to my druid now and then give me, um, a showcase of how. Basically, I would play druid. Alright, so this is my uh, resto druid here. He's been uh, one of my oldest characters here. So uh, as you can see, this is gonna be F how efflorescence works. It works similar to the spirit, uh, to Emerald Blossom, except you actually pick the location. It doesn't lock onto um, a character, which is pretty much actually a lot better because um, you can actually circle it more around to people than just being the primary focus for one. And uh, I gotta be honest, I gotta do look through a talent. Thing. I haven't done a lot of the look throughs of the talents since that they changed it because um, I don't even have a shit. What is it? Germination or what was the other one? The key, um, I personally like the extra heal for Life Bloom. Uh, so Life Bloom, Wild Growth, sorry, not Life Bloom. Wild Growth, similar to the, um, I don't know, uh, the Spear Blossom, where it travels to things, but it, it heals it on all of them. So each ability, of course, has their, their own different things, and each character, of course, has the thing. So Regrowth would be probably like your closer one to the thing. Druids focus a lot of like heal over time instead of on single targets. Except for Florence and then otherwise. Not including uh, Tranquility, which is everybody. Okay, gotta come back to the, my uh, Evoker because the one most important thing that I wanted to talk about with Evoker compared to why I want to choose this one over Oresto Druid is because, well, then again, it's also like talent based on like, your play style. But basically, it feels like you're able to actually like DPS and like do damage, like with requesting and stuff. You don't have to like conveniently always switch between. Um, uh, specializations so like yeah I can go ahead and do um, deep breath come back over here go ahead and do a um, fire breath on these targets while also still just doing the regular damage and I can still just cast like heals on myself and then keep give myself up like I was able to do like a lot fight a lot of just solo elites that are just out in the, in the out in the world without like without like any too big of a problem so I think that's part of the reason why I'm like really intrigued by the evoker and why i want to like give him a shot because uh, a lot of times I, I play solo so it would be 
more beneficial to have a very easable, easily able to uh, switch between back and forth with damaging and healing. And this, of course, with a starter build for the the preservation evoker. Um, but there's definitely other stuff here that I think would be better. Better. Like I said, um, we're gonna go. Temporal anomaly sounds like it'll be really good. And what's the other one? Stains. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah. No. But I want to. I'll probably give a look at or keep a start, but depending on how the, the game goes. And same with the uh, uh, restoration druid because that is my my classic OG. So I would really like to have more fun with that. But that will be the end of my video. Like, uh, so that. So I'm definitely looking forward into collecting. Not collecting. I'm definitely looking forward to trying out Evoker and Dragonflight, right? I'm also just looking up on like other characters that I wanted to try. Like I wanted to give a monk a try this expansion for a reason. Probably more Demon Hunter as well. I mean, I've done Death Knight and Druid for so many expansions already. And as much as I love them, I definitely want to give another class a try. So that would be it for me. Um, if you're into WoW and enjoy looking to Dragonflight, be sure to let me know. Think about, talk to me about what you want to try to uh, new in Dragonflight. But otherwise, um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, November has been a tough month for me because of a lot of stuff that I'll explain sometime in December. But uh, this will be the last video for November. Hopefully I can get it out in time. But yeah, um, I will see you guys sometime in December for um, more Twitch VODs, which I will still try to work on as well as uploading uh, Revelation, Resident Evil Revelations, a little bit of Devil May Cry, and I think the final part of Until Dawn, depending on how the editing goes, because it was a long one run for five hours. So, but yeah, um, I'll happy to see you guys then.